Hey divas, so in today's video, I'm here to share with you guys my fall drugstore foundation routine for 2017. So if you guys are interested, then go ahead and stay tuned. Okay divas, so to start off, I'm going to be using this NYX um, lip plumper and this one is in the color Liz and I like to just use this lip plumper um, to put on my lips for moisturizing. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to moisturizing the skin. I'm going to be using the Olay Complete All Day Moisturizer. And this one has SPF of um, 15 and it is for sensitive skin. I could honestly say that this is like literally my favorite moisturizer. I have been using it for years and I go like... That is actually one of the main things that I have um, as an empty, that and of course the soap. But I absolutely love Olay products. It works really well on my skin. Like I have had no problems. I've only had problems when I switched from using Olay, but when I'm using Olay, like my skin is amazing. That's why I went back to using it because I was using other stuff for a while. So yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the primer, and the primer I'm going to use is by e.l.f. It is their Poreless Face Primer. I've been loving this for years as well. It's absolutely amazing. I do think they changed the formulation though, because now it's white, but however, it still works good, because it used to be clear, but yeah, I really, really love this. is like one of my Holy Grail um, drugstore primers. So I'm just realizing that I did not even go in and clean up my brows, but that's okay because I'll go ahead and do that like once um, I highlight my under eye and everything. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and set my primer and to do that I'm going to be using the Black Opal um, Oil Blocking Powder. And I know that like you can't even see the words anymore because I absolutely love this stuff. I use it every single time that I apply makeup. And as you guys can see, I did hit pan, so I tell you no word of a lie. Like I literally always use this because it really helps to control the oils in my T-zone. Because if you guys don't know, I am oily. My oil, my oils are already starting to come through on my top lip, but. Um, yeah, I've been struggling with this for a while. No matter what I do, it just never works. So actually, I can't say that it never works because my whole face isn't oily anymore. Now it's just my T-zone area because I was oily all over here. So as you guys will notice, I'm not going to put it like all around my face because of the simple fact that um, like now these parts of my face are more dry for some reason. So I mean, I'm not complaining, but... I don't set those areas because then it's going to be all flaky and I'm going to look flaky and oily. It's just not going to mix. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and color correct. And to color correct, I'm going to be using um, my NYX HD Studio Photogenic Concealer. And I'm going to be using the shade Deep Golden. And I really like to use this shade because of the simple fact that um, it just really, I don't know what it is in this concealer, like the color, like it really corrects really good and it makes everything look really natural. Um, not that the orange one doesn't, it's just that I really, really enjoy using this one for the moment. I picked the wrong freaking day to film because... Everybody wants to freaking just like do everything while I'm trying to film. So if you guys hear like the lawnmower and everything in the background, please ignore that. But anyways, now I'm going to go in with my foundation and the foundation I'm going to use is the Maybelline Fit Me. This has quickly become like soon after I got it, um, my favorite foundation and I'm using the shade 370. Um, some of you guys were telling me that um, this, um, that you tried the shade up from this one, meaning the lighter one. That's what I mean. Um, and you said that you wasn't sure about this one because you think it might have been too dark. Honestly, I thought it was going to be too dark too, but it's really, really not. So I would just say to try it out because I got a lot of people commenting on that video um, and DMing me saying that the foundation is too dark. But honestly, I don't think it's too dark. I think you should just try it out. And it's only six bucks, so just try it out and see how you like it because you guys said you're around my skin tone and I feel like this is a good match. So I'm going to blend it on one side of my face so you guys can see, but I think it's a good match. So 
so now we're gonna go on with another nyx hd concealer and this one is in the shade nutmeg and we're gonna be using that as our um, highlight for under our eye down the bridge of our nose chin cupid's bow and all that good stuff So I'm actually going to just let this sit under my eye for a little bit and while I go wet my beauty sponge and I'll be right back. But I got this tip from Jackie Ina so I don't know. I just feel like and I tried it after she was talking about it in her video and it just really like I don't know. It feels like it gives me a little more coverage. It might be in my head. I don't know but it's totally optional. You don't have to do that but I'm going to let it sit while I go and wet my beauty sponge. So now I'm just going to go in with my beauty blender and blend out the concealer. I could not find my Real Technique sponge so that is why I'm just going in and blending with my beauty blender. So I know this is a super bright under eye for like an everyday routine but once you like um, contouring everything it is gonna be toned down because this is just what I like to do to give me a more useful look but however you can use something that's closer to your skin tone um, if you don't want it to be this highlighted but I mean why not so now I'm just gonna go back in with my foundation brush and I'm going to blend the edges where my highlighting concealer and my foundation is meeting just so that we have like the seamless blend and you can't tell where the foundation ends and begins so to set my highlighting concealer I'm going to be using the black opal loose deluxe finishing powder and I'm gonna be using the shade medium so today I'm also not going to be baking I'm just gonna place the powder oh my gosh that's a lot oh. so I'm just going to kind of like push the powder into my skin which oh my goodness <laughs> this is a freaking lot um, don't take that much but I mean it can always be blended out but don't take that much like that was just entirely too much but I'm just going to like kind of pat it and then place it and then wipe it away um, I've been liking this a lot better than baking because I don't know if it's just me but it kind of like to me it was giving me like the a uh, flashback or something so I'm just gonna place it and kind of like push it into my skin and then wipe <coughs> And then I'm gonna wipe it away. But like I said, do not put as much as I put. I just did that because I did it on the other side as you guys can see. And I don't know, it was just even too much to the point that I was coughing. So definitely you don't have to put that much. I just did that because what you do to the other side or one side, you need to do it to the other, so. So for powder, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder and I'm gonna go in with number 40 in dark. And so um, I'm not going to apply like too much of this. Like this time I'm dead serious. I'm not gonna apply. I didn't mean to apply that much last time, but I'm just gonna take some on the brush and just get out like all the powder I don't need. And I'm literally going to take this and just lightly tap on both sides of my face and like all over my face with just that one application because I don't want it to be like too powdery oh yeah and by the way I didn't go down on my neck because I have to go to work today and I didn't want it getting on my uniform or anything so that's why I didn't go down but you guys definitely can do that but this matches my neck pretty good it's just like a tad bit darker but you know just go down your neck if you can I'm just not doing that today because after this I have to go to work and I'm not gonna wash my makeup off my face so so to contour, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with this powder on the everyday basis. Unless it's a special occasion, I do not cream contour and that's just a personal preference. So if you do, you can go ahead and do that at this time. But for me, this is just all I like to go in with. Well, this is one of the powders I like to go in with. So I'm going to be using this Nika K Duo and this one is in the, the number ND09. So I'm going to go in with the darker one, of course, because this one is a little bit too close to my skin tone. And I'm going to use this brush by Black Radiance. This brush is absolutely amazing. I love it. 
So I'm just gonna get right into the hollows of my cheeks and I really really love how dark and like pigmented this contour shade is because it looks like I cream contour when I didn't so I really really love this color. For around the perimeter of my forehead and the bridge of my nose I'm going to go in with this lighter uh, brown color. Well it's still like a bronzy shade but I just like to go a little bit lighter around here so I don't look like I'm wearing like a helmet or something and so my nose doesn't look like the contour is too harsh I just like to go in with like a lighter color just it just makes it look a lot more natural in my personal opinion but um if you want something that's a little more dramatic then you can go on with the darker color as well so I'm going to add a little bit more contour to define my face a little bit and give me like kind of like a bronze look because I'm not um, going to put that much blush or I'm going to put like a warm blush so I just want to go in and bronze a little bit more. It's totally optional, you don't have to do this but I love the way it makes my face look. So I'm going to go on with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and this one is in medium to dark and then of course I'm going to be using the contour shade and I'm just going to use that with a fluffy brush and this is the Real Techniques um, blush brush but I like to use it for bronzing. For blush I'm going to go in with Black Radiance Warm Berry and I absolutely love this color for fall. I have to be careful because it is like really pigmented so um, just be mindful and careful with this brush. So now I'm just going to go ahead and set my face with this e.l.f. Illuminating and Mist set. I just like to do this to bring back some of the natural um, glowy and dewiness to my skin because of the simple fact that, you know, I've applied a lot of powder. So I just want to bring the naturalness back to my skin. So now I'm just going to go ahead and apply like a little bit of eyeshadow, maybe, I don't know, or maybe some mascara or something, but I'll be back to finish up the rest of my face and my lips. Okay, so I just put on mascara. I didn't even bother to put on any like eyeshadow or anything because most of the time if I'm not like I'll just do my foundation with mascara. I don't wear lashes every single day. So for highlighter, I'm just going to use the Milani um, highlighter and this is the Spotlight highlighter and it is in 03 Golden Light. I absolutely love this one. It looks really, really natural and it's good for every day. Um, I do like to go a little bit heavy because it's so natural, but however you can go in lightly. I just really love the way this highlight looks. It's just so gorgeous and perfect for every day. So yeah, I know this is a bit much of highlight probably for every day. I think this is like a natural glowy look, but I don't know. And if my blush is looking like crazy on camera, like it does not look like that in person, but I feel like it's the camera always does me dirty. Like I promise I don't put on excessive blush. So for the lips, I like to go for something that's more natural, especially for every day when I'm going to work. Um, I will be doing an everyday like look when I'm like when it's the weekend, but I don't want to do too much. So stay tuned for that. I forgot I already started lining my lips, but for my lips, I'm going to be using the Italia Deluxe Lip Liner. And this one is in 1002 Dark Brown. So it's like a really dark, deep brown color. Okay, so for lips, I'm going to be going in with this ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. And this one is called Contessa. And it is the Karuchi in collaboration with ColourPop. And I absolutely love this one. It's just so freaking gorgeous. So I just love like how this just gives me like that natural glossy lip. I don't know why I've been feeling that lately. But if not, you guys can go in with like a fall color, like a deep, dark, vampy, burgundy type of color or something like that. Which sometimes I will go ahead and pair that with this type of look, but for today I'm just feeling like a like a glossy lip. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set my face once again so that everything could just melt right into the skin. Okay Diva, so that's pretty much it. I hope that you guys have enjoyed my drugstore fall foundation routine. If you guys did, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to go ahead and leave me a comment down below. Let me know some of the favorites you have in your fall drugstore routine. And also be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And also hit the notification bell so you will be notified when I upload. I do upload quite often, so you definitely do not want to miss that. But yeah Diva, thank you guys so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll I'll see you lovely divas in my next video. Bye.